What's going on, internet? Um, everybody too emo this day and age. That's the thing I gotta say right now to the internet universe. I grew up on the internet. I'm one of those guys. And being that kind of person, you see what the internet is, brick holes hard. You know, you don't, you don't get introduced to it slowly. None of that crap. You're going to get blasted by internet. And I did. I was 15. I got flamed on a forum. I thought it was the end of the world. I lost my mind. It got to me. And then you realize that's what people do, you know. For me, it took a long time to come to terms with that situation. But now that I'm older and my body's losing its youth and all that and everything, and you realize when you go online, there are people just sitting at their computer from a million miles away and they start crap. And that's how it is. So I never take the internet serious. So it's it's tough to be in the world now where you got politics being center stage on on the internet and I come from a time where the internet was like a circus and I like that I like that I could get away from life on the internet now you go on the internet and you're right there is is, is pictures of Syria pictures of terrible atrocities and people are saying oh my god this oh my god that and then I'm not saying you can't have that on the internet but the internet was always to me as a young teenage going to high school it was the escape from school and now it's you go on the internet and I'm pretty sure most of the kids today they use the internet heavily if they don't watch TV or something and now they got glutton of very very gruesome real world political stuff going on you know so I don't really care about that I you know I like playing video games and escaping reality and making movies and that's what I'm working on right now I'm working on the Static Shock fan film. I think that's what the internet's made for. You know, I don't like when I, I, I go on to these vlog things. Casey Neistat, After Prison Show, uh, Chris Stuckman Show. I watch him quite a bit. Um, anything that interests me, and it's just an emo fest on some of these guys' channels. They have tough lives, they have bills to pay, things like that, and they let it all out on the internet. That is a cathartic thing for them, and I understand that, but got to understand your audience here is pretty much young people like myself, and we're not interested. <laughs> you know, we, we know you all, we know the world is a tough place, and people are having a rough time. We don't need to have that always be on, on, on you know, you know like, like, like Seinfeld. You know, Seinfeld, I love, the, I love the fact that you never see Seinfeld pissed off or, or down. You know, and I'm pretty sure him, he himself, as a person, he had bad days, and you know, but he never showed it. So I like that when I could watch Seinfeld. I knew I was just gonna be having a good time watching Seinfeld, or even any other show back in the '90s. The writers, the actors, they all had bad issues in their lives, but they never put it on show. The show must go on. That's the idea. You know, you can have whatever the hell's going on today. The show must go on. So. Internet has to go on. You know, we can't just stop and say, "Oh my God, the healthcare bill, Republicans, all this stuff." The show must go on, even with that crap going on. Okay, and I don't really like the Donald Trump presidency and all the crap he's trying to pull, but in truth, he's no different from any other president. They all lie. They all, you know, he's just so open about it. Let me pause this. I can figure out how to pause it. Do whatever you want. <sighs> That's my girl right there, man. I can't believe I could actually get in contact with this chick. This is Maria Ramos. She's on Facebook and Twitter. She's very active on them. And uh, gorgeous beyond gorgeous. You live a long life and then you finally see something. Life is good. Uh... I only got three minutes left. Basically, I wanted to make this video to kind of express some thoughts I have on what I'm trying to accomplish here. This project is, you know, I'm having my doubts about getting it finished. I want to finish it. I believe I can. I bought this. I bought, I bought, I bought a camera drone for $100. I'm only going to use it to help me film this project. So 
That's how stupid I am. Um, got like three minutes left of recording time. Probably two minutes. But I got quite a few little props that I'm going to throw in there. And I've been reading the actual Static Shot comic book. And uh, it's really... You know, I'm still trying to figure out who Virgil is. So that when I play him, I'm accurately playing him. I'm not just making stuff up. Or playing him based on Phil Lamar's uh, take on him in, in the cartoon. I want to play the comic book version. The ver... Not Freudian... Uh, comic book version. Um, what, 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 what am I gonna play? You know, and I'm reading the comic book, and uh, it's uh, he's very smart. That's the one thing. His character is he's very intelligent. Uh, I don't know what motivates him to be Static Shock. I'm still trying to figure that out. It's the last piece of the puzzle. I know what he's doing. I know what he's trying to accomplish. He even try. He even gives up Static Shock. In, 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 in the comic, he gives it up because and, and, he hurt someone during a battle and it's very Spider-Man esque Spider-Man hurt Gwen Stacy and, and he threw away being Spider-Man for a while, so Sp Static Shock is the same thing, he, he, he messes up during a battle, he, he gives up being Static, all this stuff is there, he's a very human character, if that's, you know, he's not Superman at all, he's, he has such a you know, fragility to him uh, but he's very, you know, young and he's hippie and he's like that. Um, I just want to get this thing done. I have a lot of really cool shots that I want to get. And uh, I don't know who's going to watch it. You know, I might put it up and it's going to get like 10 views at least. And I, I, I took $100 of my money that I earned. Made all these things. Bought props. This thing's probably going to max out at least $600 total that I've spent to create this thing. And it's probably going to get 15 views. And even if it does get views, am I going to become someone of significance afterwards? No. I've, I've, I Clearly, when I look online, you know, other people have done the same thing and no one cares about them. So, who knows? Alright? Thanks for watching.